The reason I, I, I'm, I'm running for the marathon is because it, I, I've all this fucking excess energy, do you know what I mean? I, when you don't drink, it has to fucking go somewhere, do you know what I mean? And uh, I used to run everywhere as a child. I had too much fucking energy, you know, I used to run, run here, and I used to fucking run there, and I'd run down to the shops, and forget what it was I was supposed to get, and fucking, I'd run back, and mammy bear two loaves of bread and a pint of milk, and I'd fucking run back down to the shop, and I would be hugging the Mrs. Egan, and I'd be going, I'm the clue what I'm supposed to get. Just lift up shit, I might be reminded. And now, now as an adult man, it's important to, to, to run. You know, women are so much more attractive in the summertime and they're unveiling themselves inch by inch. And it's hard for men to fucking know how to deal with that. You know, so I have to run. Run the horn off myself. <laughs> run and run and run till absolutely no blood can go to my bollocks. Even if I came across six naked women going, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. I'd be there, get out of the way! <laughs> Marathons, as you all know, were started thousands of years ago in ancient Greece, when there was a big, huge battle between the forces of Sparta and the forces of Centra. And there was a big... <laughs> For real. And Centra were fighting for the way we live today! <laughs> so, the battle... The battle finished and they had to tell their friends in Marathon of the victory. So, they couldn't get any coverage where they were, so they said, You have to run! <laughs> this is way before cool gear now. Right? This was sandals and fucking iron vests. This was back in the day when Nike and Adidas were people. Uh, there was Nike and his brother Pikey. Uh, Pikey had the slash hook the other way around. <laughs> so, according to the story, according to the story, what happened was that the guy, he ran the 26.2 miles, he delivered the message, and then he died. You know? And. <laughs> and and I, I was thinking, I was thinking, well, there's, there's no way that he could have delivered the proper message. Like, if your body is a total death shutdown, right, there's no way your mind can be focused entirely on what you're saying. So he, he ran the 26.2 miles, and the other guys are there, friend, what message do you bring us from Sparta? And he's there, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's there, Two loaves of milk and a pint of bread. <laughs> Six naked women back there. We are a country full of lunatics. 